for sure, Musk. Nice. Let's go, dude. It's a nice right. one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. Boys and girls, it feels good to be back in Wisconsin. I just got back from a trip, two week long trip up in Alaska. And now I'm out here on the river with Mr. Nick Goslin. He is getting everything all set up for us. And tonight we're gonna be doing some musky fishing. That's right, going after some muskies. This is actually our second trip out on the river since I've been back. We went out just the other night and I think tonight is gonna be a good night. We got a little bit overcast above us today down here at the dam and hopefully we can get a muskie in the boat. That is the goal. I'd like to see just one. If we can get just one muskie in the boat, I will be happy. So yeah, let's put out a disclaimer right away on this video. We are by no means muskie anglers. We are jumping into the world of muskie fishing. So in the comments, I don't want to hear anybody saying how bad we suck. We understand we suck. We don't have a proper net yet. We don't have a proper bump board. We don't have proper gear, but somebody has to start somewhere. Now, thankfully, we have buddies over at Taps and Tackle who are very generous and very good at musky fishing. Uh, they are helping us get into the musky world. So we do have some of the proper baits and we know somewhat what to do. We have dabbled with musky up north a few times in past videos but the river that's that's a whole nother uh whole nother story so hopefully you know with the guidance i have been out here and i caught a muskie with our buddy joseph so hopefully i can put two and two together and we can hopefully get a muskie that's the goal like brandon said one it's crazy when you're walleye fishing you get one walleye terrible you get one muskie like you're good for a week or two <laughs> it's crazy we're gonna start dabbling with something that's a little bit new to both Nick and I. Nick's got a little bit more experience than I have. Like he said, we've done some musky fishing in the past, but not a lot. Usually when it comes to catching muskies for us, it's been while we were going after different species. So today we're out here on the river. Let's go get it done. We're gonna get rigged up. We're gonna put a damn musky in the boat, baby. All right, we are gonna take our first cast of the day. Today, I'm going to be starting off throwing a glide bait. This is an exclusive bait that you can only get at Taps and Tackle, located in Stevens Point. So if you guys are from the area and you want to check out and support a local business, uh, they will have pretty much all your musky needs, including baits like this, where you can only get them at the store. So definitely go check them out, otherwise I will leave a link to their website down in the description. But that's what I'm going to be starting off with. See, I do have the live scope, I will put that out. Um, I'm kind of just using it to check out what's going on. Not really sharpshooting at the moment, but I have it, so we might as well utilize it as a tool. But yeah, we're gonna start throwing around. See if we can see one. Alrighty, you guys. Well, to get things started today, I am going to be throwing a double bladed bucktail. It's got that nice chartreuse blades on it, and I've got a little twister tail off the back. Give it a little action, hopefully. They munch that. I've got my rod paired up with a PC Fun Alloy Z. I believe this is the 300. I think Nick and I are both rocking the 300 today. They do have a 400 as well, but I'm not throwing anything too crazy big. I think this is going to work out well for us out here today. If you guys are looking to add any gear, any musky gear to your arsenal, 
Check out the PC Fund website. You can use code NBEdits18 at checkout. Save you 18% off your order. Works out pretty nice, and they make more than, obviously, just musky stuff. We use all of their other reels for walleye fishing, bass fishing, ice fishing, etc. So make sure to check out the website. We're going to get things rocking here. Hopefully, it won't be long, and maybe we'll get a follow. Maybe one of us will get hooked up. I have a feeling the evening bite is going to be very good tonight we'll see i think if we're gonna get one it's gonna be as the sun is going down but we'll see all right well we just pulled up to the dam now the thing about this bite is we were here a couple days ago two days ago actually to be exact and we were doing the same exact thing it was our first time out on the river this year going for muskie um, so we were just kind of testing the waters we were in this exact same spot using this exact same bait the swimming dog and i did happen to catch like an upper 30s so i'll go ahead i'll play the clip for you guys right now got him fish on oh. Get a quick pick. Oh, we some beauty ski, probably. Oh, oh. Up at the lead, maybe? There she goes. Let's go. <laughs> we did it. I was recording. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So I don't know if you can tell from the clip or not, but it was a little later. It was actually like 20 minutes before dark. Um, that one hit vertical jigging over the side of the boat. And we were marking a ton of fish. We did arrive a little bit earlier. There are a couple other boats down here. Um, so we wanted to just kind of secure the spot just because we were seeing muskie here. We had like three or four follows that night as well. And then obviously the one that I caught. So we're here a little early. We're gonna start throwing. I'm gonna be throwing swimming dog i'm not sure exactly what brandon's gonna be throwing maybe swimming dog as well just because well we caught one so it's kind of like a comfort bait as of right now maybe we'll switch around but that's where we're at we're gonna get up there see what we find and uh hopefully get hooked up That's for sure a musk. Uh, I don't know, he's fighting pretty good though. Just make sure you keep him in the water when you get him. Nice. Finally happened. I've been seeing a bunch of fish up here, but had a few follows, but they'd kind of turn off right away. This one, this one came in aggressive and hit her. He was deep though, like over 20 feet of water. This one came out of. Get him on hooked here quick. He T-boned the crap out of this swimming dog. One on Oh, 
real thing we need to invest in is a better bump. 35 inch musket. I'm gonna get them back right away here. Good one to start the night on. Healthy fish. You can tell these river fish though are a lot more beat up than the ones in the lake. Tell you that one. There she goes. Water is so dirty compared to what we're normally fishing in. Normally you release a fish, you can watch them go straight down to the bottom. Here you got about four inches of clarity. Let's see if I can get my bait out here and show you guys what I caught it on here. Now this thing is all sorts of beat up now. He really T-boned. You can see right where he hit here, but this is a musky innovations, swimming dog, rubber, plastic. It's kind of good in this scenario because we are fishing such deep water. Um, right here, right off of this break wall is like almost 30 feet of water. So it's nice because if they're up on the surface, we can swim it back. And if they're down a little deeper, let her drop down. And that one I was actually just jigging it like how you would a walleye and all that. And uh, ended up coming up and hitting it. But first one, still got a good solid hour and uh, we're seeing a lot of fish. So hopefully that's not the last one. Okay, well, one fish in the boat. Let's see if I can get one now. Well guys, we decided that since we got one up by the dam, we're gonna go down river a little ways. You guys may have seen our buddy Matt is out here with a couple of his friends tonight. Matt, is that corn in your boat that I see? Uh, no. <laughs> we said, you know what? We saw a multiple muskie right up there in the corner on the wall up by the dam. So him and his buddies are gonna throw there. We're gonna try going downstream a little bit and see if we can make anything else happen. Sun's going down right now. So if it's gonna happen, Gonna be very soon. We went down river for just a little bit and then we decided to come back up by the dam before the sun goes completely down and looks like he got him. I think he's got it in the net now, I believe. Hey, let's go. Let's go, Matt. I see that one in the bag. Let's go. Matt's cracked. Just happened to be pulling back up and I see the net drop. Oh jeez, here we go. <laughs> the one today doesn't actually. All we have is these. Those are probably better. It's a lot longer than what I have. time of the day where I have to take the GoPro out of the back here because uh, we got to put the lights on so if we get hooked up it's gonna be strictly chest mount but hopefully I mean I'm not gonna complain hopefully just see one right before dark Matt just hooked one so pretty confident
follow, 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 follow. Let's go, baby. Second one? Woo! <laughs> Let's go. I was oh, that was sweet. I felt him just crush it. It was like, oh, wow. Man. Oh, boy. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Probably right around that. It's high 30s for sure. I'm not even going to get a measurement. We're just going to go ahead and get them back. But what a beauty. Woo, that is exciting. First muskie of the year. All right, not gonna waste too much time. We're just gonna go ahead and get them back right away. It's probably just shy of 40, 38 or 39 would be my guess. Big healthy fish. That is awesome. That thing just came up and absolutely clobbered it. He was not messing around, that's for sure. There she goes. Tail wave goodbye. Whew, that feels good. We got one more before the night ended, which is exactly what we wanted. We came out here hoping to get one fish, but Nick got a fish, our good buddy Matt got a fish, and I got a fish. This is an awesome night. What a stellar evening out here on the river. This got me pumped up to come back out here and grind mussy all summer because when they hit, man, it is such a thrill. Whew, imagine when you get an absolute giant on. Oh, baby, it's going to be a good summer. Well, guys, we got everything packed up, ready to go home. It was a crazy evening. We went into this thinking one fish, just seeing it. I mean, catching it was one thing, but just seeing a couple fish would have been a successful trip for Brian and I. And we ended up both getting one. And then for our buddy Matt also to get one little three piece out of the same spot is crazy. It's definitely like Brandon was saying, getting me hyped up for the rest of the year. This is just really the beginning. Opener was just a couple weeks ago. And I actually did go out um, on opening weekend and did manage to get two smaller ones for a bachelor party that I was at. Didn't film anything, but the musky fever is very hot right now. I will say that it's definitely going to be a, a good summer if it keeps up with the numbers as as it is right now and this is not the only spot we're going to be fishing we plan on doing a lot of local central wisconsin areas a lot of river fishing we're going to bring back out the kayaks because our channel was based off of doing a lot of kayak fishing uh, so we're going to get back to the roots there do a lot of kayak fishing but for musky on some of the smaller stretches of river so looking forward to the rest of the year if you guys enjoyed today's video and you are enjoying the musky content want to see more musky content leave a thumbs up on today's video if you guys have any comments for us what you want to see in the upcoming videos leave that down in the comment section below we're going to go ahead get on out of here expect a few more alaska videos uh, in the upcoming next couple weeks here brandon's got a whole bunch of content from that until next time, tight lines, run be edits.